Um, I have four things I'm going to say. All right, first one is uh, my family uh, dates back four generations in western Montana as well. We now have a fifth generation coming on, all of whom have been involved in agriculture, timber industry, construction industries, building industries. Um, and I myself am uh, newly entering farming and work with beginning farmers as my uh, occupation. I help people get their businesses started and help to connect them with people who can teach them about production practices and other things, helping to get, get started on the land. And we, as a part of that, we run a program called the Land Link Program, which connects beginning farmers and expanding farmers to land that's available around the state of Montana. And just in the past, when we've, we've only been operating in western Montana, we've had 80 people looking for land to either expand or begin their operations. So. I think that there's a real testament, it's been said before, um, that agriculture, there's, a, there's still an appetite for people to get into agriculture and that really is where the drive for these regulations came from to a large extent. Um, I also am a member of the Montana Farmers Union and they asked me to read a letter. I'm just going to read some bits and pieces and I'll leave it with you all. The Montana Farmers Union is a statewide agricultural advocacy organization with members in every Montana county including Missoula County. And their president, Alan Merrill, wrote to say that throughout their 100-year history, they have advocated for strong protections of agricultural land as the underlying tenet of their policy and existence as an organization, um, most evident in their advocacy during the Montana legislative sessions over the past three years when these uh, regulations have been targeted. And they also support the rights of local governments to set their own parameters in order to protect and prioritize agricultural land under its control and be responsive to local goals and ideals. And they um, wrote in support of these regulations. Um, I also wanted to share a letter from the Mon Western Montana Growers Cooperative, which represents 55 farms in Western Montana. Um, who are uh, representing a hugely growing industry and um, also have strong support for these proposals. Uh, and fourth, I guess I just want to close by just saying that, um, you know, over the past maybe 10 years, we've been working on this issue and, uh, you know, I, I know one of the things that I've heard from the Board of County Commissioners over the years is asking for a toolbox and this set of regulations to me represents a toolbox and um, I, I think that from the, the, the highly, you know, we've heard a lot of um, concerns and a lot of fear and we've also heard a lot of very strong statements that in other places this has worked really well and we're not going to know until we get something on the books how it's going to work out here and I think, um, you know, if we can get these tools in action, I know that these people that are in the room, I know that CFAC's going to stay committed to watching it progress and continuing to help make this set of regulations successful and I know that the farmers and ranchers in the building community are going to stay involved to make sure that whatever happens is a success and you know we can be sure that the next few subdivisions that come through and you know we will see how this how this impacts and we will have the opportunity to make changes and it will be a heck of a lot easier to make changes than it will be to start all over again with another 10-year process so um, I think this is a great starting place and I encourage you to support it.